This is the video presentation of our WACV paper, Evidential Uncertainty Quantification, a Variance-Based Perspective. I am the first author and the presenter of this work, Gu Xiao, from the Johns Hopkins University. First of all, let me briefly give some background information about Evidential Deep Learning, or EDL for short. EDL is a non-Bayesian approach to quantify predictive uncertainty in deep learning by modeling the prior distribution of the target labels. Given an input data X, an EDL model should be able to provide not only the prediction, but also the uncertainties associated with that prediction. It further disentangles the total uncertainty into two components. Aleatoric or data uncertainty refers to the intrinsic randomness of the data and this originates from the natural complexity of the data. Epistemic or model uncertainty refers to the lack of knowledge about the data, and this can be reduced by adding more training data. Since EDL quantifies uncertainties directly with a single forward propagation, it is much more convenient and efficient than other uncertainty quantification methods, such as Bayesian deep learning. As it requires no change in the model architecture, EDL is highly adaptable in many problem settings. Here are some fundamental assumptions of EDL. In the C-class classification problem, let X be the input data and Y be the target label. P is the class probability vector and alpha is the vector of prior distribution parameters we are going to predict. EDL assumes that Y follows a multinomial distribution with one trial and probability is P while p is also a random vector following a Dirichlet distribution with parameters alpha. EDL predicts alpha based on x, so given the input x, the neural network generates z, a vector of logits. The traditional deep learning uses softmax to transform z into a vector of probabilities, and the cross-entropy laws can be calculated from the prediction and the ground truth. Evidential deep learning uses a different activation function, such as exponential function, and transforms z into alpha, a vector of c positive numbers. And the loss can just be calculated from alpha and y as the negative log likelihood. With the prior distribution, we can derive the evidential uncertainties of any given input data. The traditional method quantifies total uncertainty as the predictive entropy and decomposes it into aleatoric and epistemic components based on an information theory approach. However, this method can only derive the overall uncertainty associated with the sample, namely how uncertain a given sample is. It cannot tell how uncertain each class is. For example, in this image, which contains a monitor, a keyboard, and a mouse, the model is probably more uncertain about these classes than other irrelevant ones like calculator and flowers. So these contribute more to the total uncertainty, while these classes contribute less. The traditional entropy-based approach failed to capture this class-level information. So here, we propose an alternative approach to quantify evidential uncertainties. We derive the uncertainty of each class as the variance of that particular class variable, which can just be retrieved from the diagonal of the covariance matrix. So we first compute the covariance matrix of Y, which is a C by C matrix where C is the number of classes. We then decompose this covariance matrix into aleatoric and epistemic covariance by the law of total covariance. So now the class level uncertainties can just be obtained from the diagonal elements of the corresponding covariance matrix. And sample level uncertainties can be derived by aggregating all the class level uncertainties. Furthermore, the correlation matrix can also be obtained from the covariance matrix, providing the correlation information of each pair of classes. While the traditional entropy-based approach is only able to quantify sample-level uncertainties, the variance-based approach can further provide class-level uncertainties as well as the between-class correlations. We use an enhanced version of an EDL-based active domain adaptation framework to evaluate the effectiveness of the uncertainty quantification. In this algorithm, the model is trained by both EDL loss and the uncertainties of the target dataset in order to reduce the domain gap between the source and the target. 
we use concurrent certainty and uncertainty sampling to improve active learning performance. So in the first round of each active sampling stage, we sort the data by their epistemic uncertainty and pick the most certain ones and the uncertain ones. The certain samples are just added to the labeled target training data set with their predictions as pseudo labels because for the certain samples, their predictions are most likely to be correct. For the uncertain ones, we just pass them to the second round and further sort these samples using their aleatoric uncertainty. And we finally pick the most aleatorically uncertain ones, pass them to the oracle and obtain their labels. And then we just add them to the labeled target data set. We apply both entropy-based and variance-based uncertainty quantification approaches in this active domain adaptation framework and measure their performance on two datasets, Office Home and Vista 2017. For the classification accuracy, we compare the results without certainty sampling and with certainty sampling. In most cases, the entropy-based approach and variance-based approach achieve similar accuracy. We also use the evidential uncertainties to detect misclassification and use the misclassification detection AUC score to evaluate the quality of this uncertainty quantification. It turns out that on editorial uncertainty and epistemic uncertainty, both two approaches also have similar performance. Beyond sample level uncertainties that both approaches are able to derive, our variance-based approach further provides class-level uncertainties. Here are two example images from the Office Home dataset. For the first image, the ground truth label is bucket, but it kind of looks like a trash can as well. So the model is most uncertain about these two options, bucket and trash can. For the second image, the ground truth class is candles. Though the model wrongly predicts it as lampshade, it is still highly uncertain about these two classes, candles and lampshade, together with another few classes. This class-level uncertainty information might be important in some downstream tasks, but it was not provided by the previous entropy-based approach. By aggregating the class-level uncertainties of all the samples in the dataset, we can compute the class-level uncertainties of the entire dataset. This figure shows the aleatoric uncertainties and epistemic uncertainties of all the classes in the Office Home Clipart dataset. This information can be helpful for a better understanding of the data we have and how well the model learns from them. For example, if the model is highly epistemically uncertain about some classes, this probably means that adding more images of those classes might contribute more to model learning. Apart from all the uncertainty information, between class correlations can also be derived by our variance-based approach. The correlations can sometimes be quite informative. Let's say, if the model is frequently making mistakes on some class in the dataset, is it because that class contains diverse images so that it can hardly be identified? Or it's because there is another existing class with highly similar images so that a model finds it difficult to distinguish between that pair of classes. The class correlations to some extent just give insight into this sort of analysis. Here, we calculate the correlation between each pair of classes in the Office Home Clipart dataset and select the three most correlated pairs. It turns out that the class correlation is a good indicator of similarity from the model's perspective. For example, for this particular dataset, the model finds it hard to distinguish between computer and monitor, bucket and trash can, desk lamp and lampshade. As a conclusion, in this paper, we introduced a variance-based approach in evidential deep learning for classification uncertainty quantification. Compared to the traditional entropy-based approach, our method can not only provide sample-level evidential uncertainties, but also class-level uncertainties, as well as the between-class correlations. These additional benefits might provide useful information for many downstream applications. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you for watching.